Morning. So, do another video log today. Um, it's going to be another long day. We're out uh, climbing and scouting today. As you'll hear later, I seem to have been spending a lot of time over at Simon Side climbing more lately. We're having a great time. Getting some kids climbing for the first time. We're doing some of that today, although today's a competition. Um, and uh, this evening, I'm off uh, doing a sponsored climb. Help raise some money for a friend. So, uh, we'll see how today goes. I'll keep you updated, get some videos. I'm um, going to try and cut in some photographs and some videos of some of the recent climbing days, give you an idea of what uh, climbing about is in scouting in Durham Scout County. On with the tea. Here we are, ready to go. Time to uh, take the old climbing bag, put it in the car. Okay, so don't need all the rubbish that's in here today. We're climbing indoors, but that's all got me outdoor climbing kit. Um, but uh, everything stays together and uh, always gets checked when it puts away. So I know the bag's always ready to go when we go climbing. I'm right, gonna head off to Simon's side now. I'm gonna be there for about, oh no, it's probably gonna be about eight hours, I guess we'll be there today. Okay, that's the crow over the road. Got something to say. Um, so yeah, be there about eight hours today. Um, and then we're heading up to Newcastle Climb more later. So this is uh, Simon's side centre. You can see here, people are starting to register. Today is Sunderland's uh, climbing day. Uh, come through here, uh, this is a climbing wall. It's, uh, it's still owned by South Tyneside Council, who provide a lot of support for youth activities uh, and provide the centre for us at very good rates, uh, as you'll hear later. We've been here quite a lot. And this is the, uh, the climbing wall. So you can see it's a fantastic facility. Okay, so we've got used to the whole centre for the day, as we have had for Saturdays over the last couple of months. This is the fourth time we've been here. And you can see here some of the team who will be belaying. So uh, one of them is very excited. Let's crack on. Okay, so this is where I'm belaying today. Uh, this is Wall 46. Um, believe it or not, even some of the Cubs will get there. Um, what we've also got is this handy little card here. So if I zoom in on that, you can see there are numbers on there. So those numbers tell us how we're going to score the wall. Depending on how far they get, they get uh, points for how many routes they complete. And the best ones win. Uh, and believe it or not, uh, the good climbers will get to the top of this route, they'll get to the top of every route. And the last few competitions we've had, uh, we've actually had climb-offs. There's some canny kind of little climbers in scouting, which is fantastic. So the Cubs have arrived, there's about, uh, oh there's Dave Russell who's organised today, Sam County Climbing Advisor. Um, so there's about 50 Cubs coming this morning on today's event. Um, they're all getting harnessed up, getting ready. Um, and you can see the B layers have laid out the route cards all ready to go. So it should be good. So plenty of encouragement for these guys. Some of these routes aren't easy. See, tackling the overhand. Whoa! Sometimes you got to come off if you learn to climb. And somebody up there almost at the top. Over here we've got some cubs. That's Sam, County Climbing Advisor. He's uh, on some of the warm-up walls with some of the guys. So well into the swing of things now. Right, we've been uh, we've been belaying now about uh, about an hour, I guess. Still waiting for a cup of tea. All the volunteers are still working hard. This young chap here has uh, finished climbing all his routes, so we're going to do a bit of climbing for fun now, which is good. Um, it's been good. These routes have been proving a little bit challenging for the uh, for the cups, but they've been uh, they've been doing the best and uh, getting some good scores. So we'll crack on. We're here for about another. I reckon we'll be here about another 35, 45 minutes with the Cubs um, and then we'll finish, get their scores and a bit of lunch. So I uh, finally got my cup of tea. Yeah, what one's mine? No, that one's yours, that one's yours. <laughs> so, whoa, finally got my cup of tea. Having a quick break off the uh, off the route. So we can see here some of the other routes the, uh, the Cubs are climbing. So over the last, uh, say the last few weeks, we've been here four days. We were here, South Tyneside District had their Cub Scout climbing competition. Then my district, Bladen, we had a fun climbing day. 
we had beavers, cubs, scouts and explorer scouts here. Uh, we had the county climb when ready climbing competition which was uh, a couple of weekends ago uh, and here we are today with Sutherland. So uh, here's Dave and Leslie, they might give us a wave. No, way too busy you see doing the scoring. Oh yeah, there's Leslie waving, fantastic. So we've got parents as well all watching and waiting. So uh, that's what's going on with the Cubs and after lunch we're going to be having Scouts and Explorers. Climbing's really a great activity for young people. Teaches them confidence, teaches them teamwork, they've got to be able to trust the person who's beelaying. Um, obviously it's good for developing coordination, balance um, and it really does help them to, uh, to overcome fears for a lot of them which is fantastic. It's great when you see some of them who really aren't sure about climbing and then they give it a go they get some trust in the bee layer, they get some trust in the rope uh, and they overcome the fears and that's a lot of what uh, activities in scouting are all about it's about just letting young people sense that little bit of element of risk even though from a leader's perspective the risk is nice and controlled um, but you want them to develop and climbing is a fantastic activity for that So the scouts are starting to arrive for the scout session now. Uh, there's a few of those this afternoon. They'll be joined by the Explorer Scouts. You can see members of the uh, team harnessing up. We're very lucky in Durham. We've got a fantastic county climbing team. So they've been the guys who've been turning up at all these events recently. Uh, just put a message out on the Facebook group and pretty much a guaranteed members of the county climbing team will turn up and help out. Um, without that, there's no way we could get all these young people climbing. Uh, which is uh, fantastic support. So long may that continue. So uh, most of the scouts have gone now. They've been belaying up this uh, blue route you can see behind me. You just uh, look up there. So uh, I climbed the route before the uh, scouts did. It's the first time I've actually been climbing for 13 months. I tend to spend time at the bottom belaying or on top of crags setting up. Uh, I'm not the world's best climber and I'm certainly not going to get any better at my age but for me it's all about giving the kids the opportunity to give it a go as I said earlier it's a fantastic activity for young people to try um, and as you can see today um, when you've got young people really having a good time climbing uh, that's it for me I will be, uh, will be climbing a little bit later as we'll see um, to help raise a few funds um, I do enjoy it I um, started climbing myself when I was probably seven or eight climbing sea cliffs before I knew any better, no ropes, no partner, a bit naughty really, um, wouldn't recommend it to young people now. Um, but that's what got me started, still do enjoy it, um, but I get a lot of enjoyment helping the young people climb. That's the uh, important thing of today's days like today. So the explorers are in now and uh, they're doing a few harder routes as you can see. Some overhangs here. In the background there you can hear cat. I'm sure you're going to hear much more of cat later. So uh, obviously not that many uh, explorers in, so I'm waiting to do the uh, big overhang. So uh, we'll see if everybody does. Okay, so that's uh, most people on the way home now from uh, Sunderland's climbing uh, competition today. Good day, probably about 100 young people came along, uh, had a good climb. Um, some of them uh, very experienced climbers, full marks, etc. Usual suspects won the competitions, certainly for scouts and explorers. Um, but it's great to see some kids coming along, you know, 
not quite novices, but uh, nowhere near the sort of standard you'd expect. But getting better, trying routes, giving it a go, going away with smiles on the faces, which is uh, what it's all about. So that's um, South Tyneside, Cubs done. That's Bladen's climbing day done, climbing ready done, and now Sunderland uh, climbing competition. So that's uh, been, I think, uh, over the space of six or seven weekends. Been, uh, Quite, uh, quite a busy period. Don't expect to be back at Simon's site for a while. Um, my thoughts now are turning to uh, taking explorers out, uh, doing some outdoor climbing in the summer. Um, and of course, we've got Cat's sponsored climb this evening. So that's where I'm heading to now, over at Newcastle Climbing Centre. Um, probably try and get a bite to eat on the way. Okay, so this interesting place is Newcastle Climbing Centre, as you can see. It's, uh, it is an old church. It used to be uh, it was deconsecrated, then turned into a soft play centre, and now it's uh, it's climbable. It's been here for a good few years now. Quite popular. Let's go in. So you can get an idea of Newcastle Climbing Centre here. Uh, they've got a bouldering uh, section down the the one side. You can see the main routes. So they've got some uh, auto belay set up. So you can climb solo. Some nice big routes here. So you can see down there. And then over here, we've got some routes for some novices. Got no idea where we're going to be uh, climbing tonight. Um, so uh, a lot of our young people in scouting now do take part in indoor climbing. Woo! So there's the, uh, there's the auto belo. A lot of our young people do take part in climbing indoors now. Um, when I started climbing there was uh, very very few indoor climbing walls, very popular now. Great way to get the kids into the sport. Good obviously to train in the winter uh, but I do like to encourage uh, our young people, certainly our uh, scouts and explorer scouts, to get climbing outdoors um, which I think is much more fun, much more enjoyable. Um, it's just you and the rock um, but a lot of them do like the fact that they're indoors in the dry and in the warm. So basically these walls are about 20 feet, so between the five of us at the moment we just have to do about 100 routes. So there goes Cat, so about uh, well, a couple of years ago Cat was hardly about the wheelchair, so she's doing really well and uh, say so hopes to get in the year. Uh... Oh and she's off again you see, so this is real speed climbing. Mad as a box of frogs, a big box of frogs. This is cleaning but buddy Steve. Okay, we've done 22. 22 climbs, that's 440 feet of the 2000. So we're doing well, we're getting warm. Time to strip off a layer and, and cat still mad as a box of frogs. Hello! And always will be. Right, here goes personal coach, Mr. Ramsey. Up the wall. Less a coach and more of a shower bank, to be honest. <laughs> you know, I'm taking my breath back to Tokyo. You're not working on it. Yeah, the, uh, 
the, the oxygen runs out up there, Steve. Here he comes. Ace B A Tim. Oh, he's got a bad elbow. Yeah, yeah. Or say, ah, oh, Tim's poorly elbow. Here's the team. Steve. 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 Yeah, I've got him. Cat Sumpty Dumpty. <laughs> I'm good. Tim is doing the final route. I'm in the death of you, fine. Come on, Tim! Oh, on that elbow, Tim. <laughs> Not on the camera. What? No, no. Right, last week of the evening. Last week of the evening, top it out properly. There we go, that's 2,000 feet then. So that's it, finished the climb, just about uh, done. We're uh, a long day climbing. It's been, uh, oh, I don't know, 10 hours B lane climbing. Thoroughly good day, lots of time with good people. Now going over to uh, catch up with some gang show crowd. Uh, gonna have a well-deserved uh, well drink at the end of the day. Here's scouting fun. Good night.